Radio Link new transmitter RC6 GSV3 and RC4 GSV3 add timer function, which is useful to run labs. I'm going to introduce the function. This is RC6 GSV3. Power on it. Long press exit and enter button at the same time to enter the setting page. And number 24, timer. Now let's know about all parameters here. There are two modes, up timer and down timer. Up timer means the timing number will count from zero to big number. Down timer means the timing number will count from big number to zero. Alarm. Alarm means alarm time, which defaults to eight minutes. When the timing reaches the set time, the transmitter starts to alarm. And here start, stop. Start and stop means you can set a switch to trigger or stop timing. You can set it to now. Now means the function is not enabled. Switch A, switch B, switch C, switch D. And there are knock modes, knock A, B, C, D, and the throttle. Here, position of the switch can be set to down, center, and up. Reset. Reset means all the time values are cleared. Lap. Lap is the number of running laps that you need to record. We can see that 13 laps can be set at most. Now let's set the parameters. And I choose up timer and alarm. I want to set it to 30 seconds. So it means when timing reaches 30 seconds, the transmitter will be. And start. As for the switch of start, stop, and the reset, it is recommended to choose a three-way switch, such as switch B or switch C, which is easy and convenient. For start, I set it to switch B up. And for stop, I also set it to switch B, center. And for reset, I set it to switch B, down. So we can say for start, stop, and reset, I set it to the same switch, switch B. Up is to start the timing, and central is to stop timing, and down is to reset timing. For laps, I want to record three laps. So I set it to three. Now let's show the function. If I push switch B to up position, the timing will start. Now it's timing now. Now I want to uh, stop timing, so I put switch B to central, and it stops. So it is the timing of lap 1. And now I want to record the timing of lap 2. So I push switch B to up position again. Now it start to timing again. Stop. Now lap 2 is finished, and I want to record lap 3. I put switch B to up position again. Now it stops. Central. 
So three laps are recorded. Now I want to check the timing of three laps. I just need to check here L. L03 means the timing of lap three. It is 4.85 seconds. And I want to check the timing of lap one. We can say the timing of lap one is 8.52 seconds. The timing of lap two is 7.58 seconds. The timing of lap three is 4.85 seconds. And here is one more parameter. This display and here is current and home page current means the timing is only displayed in the function menu of timer and home page means the timing will also be displayed in the home page now let's return and check it in the home page now you can also control the timing in the home page Finally, let's check the alarm function of timing. We have just set the alarm to 30 seconds started. In the countdown 20 seconds, it beeps every one second. In the countdown 10 set, uh, seconds, it beeps twice every one second. When 30 seconds is reached, it gives an alarm. But it will continue to timing. Now it stops. And if you, you want to reset all timing numbers, push switch B to the down position. So that's all about timer of RC6GSV3.